Maria Seifer, Executive Creative Director with Catchword, and I'm here to talk about the process professional namers use to create new brand names. Feel free to use some of these steps if you're trying to create a new product or company name on your own. So people often ask us how we come up with names. Are they computer generated? Do we sit around drinking wine, jotting down thoughts on cocktail napkins? Or maybe we shuffle Scrabble tiles around till we find that perfect combination of letters. Once upon a time, these approaches might have worked. But these days, namers use a highly methodical process and create an enormous pool of names. This is due to the huge number of obstacles faced by potential naming candidates. It's not enough to be appealing, strategic, and distinctive. A name also has to be legally available, sometimes in many countries. It also has to be intuitive to pronounce and spell, and absent of negative meaning or associations in various languages. Sometimes an exact domain name is needed. For all these reasons, creating a new name today is an exhaustive effort. Catchword typically creates over 2,000 names per project. So it's clear we're going to need some serious numbers. How do we start the process? The first step is developing a solid naming strategy and creative brief, which includes looking at the competition and identifying areas of opportunity. To illustrate, let's pretend we're naming a new naming firm. After doing some competitive research, we see a lot of the players have names that include the words brand and name. To be distinctive in this space, we decide pretty quickly that we'd rather not have a name that includes these words. But what do we want to communicate? When we start our creative exercise, we always want to have some idea of naming messages, even though they may change as we get deeper into the process. In the case of our naming firm, we decide the name should at least suggest language and naming, though not overtly like our competitors, or in a way that will keep us from branching out into services like taglines or brand architecture. So all of these considerations go into our naming brief, along with thoughts on name tonality, construction, length, legal considerations, and whether the domain name is required. With our creative brief in hand, we're ready to start naming. For all but the most abstract projects, we start by creating a project vocabulary. It's really a great starting point for getting ideas down and free associating to other words and metaphors. Beyond just mixing and matching these words to form compound or blended forms, we might take key vocabulary words and translate them into Latin, Sanskrit, Italian, Hawaiian, whatever languages suit our communication and tonality needs. There are tons of great online dictionaries that can help with this. We also take interesting prefixes and suffixes and add them to different words. We can play around with different word endings or try truncating some of the words. After exploring all the obvious ideas, what I like to call due diligence creative, we're ready to go off into blue sky territory. We might look at, say, the personal interests and hobbies of a company founder, song titles, new metaphors, or arbitrary but interesting words. We might take a short expected word from our project vocabulary and try pairing it with something completely unexpected. We also want to make sure we have at least several people working on each naming project to bounce ideas off each other, both virtually and in person, and to continuously brainstorm new naming directions and ideas. When we have a substantial list together, for us well over a thousand names, it's time to look at the list as a whole. New names will start to form when all the names are combined into one list and evaluated together. We play around some more, modifying spellings, combining different roots, and just generally looking beyond the obvious. When we're satisfied we've explored everything possible, it's time to start shortlisting. A good rule of thumb is to shortlist one-tenth of the total names, and then to hone a little further with fresh eyes a day or two later. Getting down to that final perfect name is an iterative, nonlinear process that usually involves legal and domain name screening, consensus building within the client team, perhaps additional creative, thinking about logo treatments, and so forth. In the case of our naming firm example, we've decided that catchword works with all our criteria, and we're very pleased with the results. To recap, here are the key elements of an effective naming process. Investigate competitive naming styles and determine areas of opportunity. Write a detailed naming brief that includes thoughts on messaging, tonality, construction, and legal and domain requirements. Understand that a vast pool of names is essential to success. Develop a comprehensive project vocabulary. Engage in both due diligence creative, exploring all the obvious and important messages, roots, metaphors, and languages and go into blue sky territory and free associate and brainstorm with colleagues. Shortlist about one-tenth of your total list and keep honing. I hope you found these tips helpful. I'm Maria Seifer with Catchword. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.